Hello guys, this is Andy Nurlov sir. Uh, welcome back to Dynamic Troubleshooters channel once again. Uh, today I'm going to show you how can you configure an sd one rules uh, to optimize Amazon AWS services or to choose uh, best gateway for Amazon AWS services uh, through your uh, FortiGate firewall. So before do that, uh, I need to recap some previous settings uh, to do that. Okay, let's go. <coughs> At first, uh, you need to uh, set up uh, the SD WAN, SD WAN in <coughs> SD WAN setting. Here I have two ISPs or two gateway. How can you configure SD WAN? I already showed up in my previous videos. So you can see how can you configure SD WAN from my previous videos. This is the first step <coughs> you need to do uh, for configuring SD WAN rules. Then the second step should be <coughs> you need to configure performance SLA because SLA is the indicator. Uh, which uh, in terms of SLA, SD1 will be at okay, SD1 will be uh, act in in terms of performance SLA. So here I also configured an SD1 SLA in in according to the uh, latency, jitter, and packet loss. Here uh, you can see the two. SLA target. The uh, first one is latency target is 50, 57 millisecond and GTA threshold is uh, uh, 4 millisecond. Second one is latency is 60, GTA threshold uh, 5 millisecond, <coughs> and packet loss 0. So, how this SLA work? The SLA work in terms of this targeted. So, the ISP. So the gateway will be switch in according to this value. That means uh, which gateway in which gateway or ISPs uh, the firewall <coughs> getting better uh, latency, better uh, speed, and uh, better threshold, uh, better jitter threshold, then the uh, traffic will prioritize uh, through this gateway. So then the third steps you need to configure the <coughs> SD1 rules. SD1 rules actually uh, you need to configure SD1 rules for uh, by pass through the <coughs> uh, specific traffics uh, with uh, better priority, with higher priority. Okay, through best uh, gateway. So to do this uh, now uh, we are. I'm going to configure an SD1 rules for Amazon AWS services. Here we go. Let's give a name Amazon AWS. Okay, source is all uh, destination should be all and protocol is any. Any TCP or UDP protocol. Oh, sorry. Uh, destination should be Internet services. Okay. Amazon AWS. Amazon Web. Uh, Amazon DNS. <coughs> Also select other services uh, with Amazon because all the services uh, might need it for Amazon for various application and services. Here I'm going to create a group of Amazon AWS application service here 
I give a name AWS type application uh, <coughs> from there I'm going to type Amazon and select all kinds of uh, Amazon application service we ensure all of the Amazon services uh, will be available and pass through the better gateway here is the AWS now I'm going to add this one as an application services here is the internet services okay then I need to select my preferences I mean gateway preferences I am going to select both of the gateway and uh, measure SLA will be the <coughs> is a uh, uplink quality test which is configured uh, by me previously so the quality criteria will be latency so this policy will act in according to the measured SLA and it will choose the best gateway uh, among us when user are trying to access any kind of Amazon related services and applications okay then their traffic will go any of this uh, best gateway with higher priority okay <coughs> this is that's it now click on ok so the rule is configured you can see the rule is configured just uh, put on its specific places to act in according to the priority here I'm using uh, we are using office 365 that's why uh, the office 365 will be process uh, proceed <coughs> first then uh, it will goes to Amazon AWS and then SAF actually okay that's it so this is the configuration of S1 rules for us through the Amazon AWS services through a better gateway in according to the performance SLA okay that's it and thank you for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe the channels and like the like button and <coughs> and the bell icon as well if you don't uh, want to uh, miss my upcoming videos okay goodbye and see you later